Hello, I just got back from my very first board game convention. It's the Pacific Northwest Board Game Convention, I think is what it's called. Or maybe the South Sound Board Game Convention. I can't remember the name. Um, but it was it's their first uh, convention, too, this convention that I went to, which was the first convention I went to. And I thought I'd just share some of my thoughts about it. It was in a nice, uh, lovely old building. Um, it's a it's a grange, like an old grange, so it had a stage which was um, unfortunately not used really except for a silent auction where you can write down prices that you're willing to pay for particular games and so I did some of that. There were also uh, there was also a substantial game library um, and it was just a nice kind of, it was, it was surprisingly cozy. I kind of thought, I think of conventions as like people wear things around their neck with uh, something hanging down and it's very busy, but this wasn't so busy. It was There was a good amount of people and lots of friendly people who were willing to teach games and were excited about games. And I really enjoyed and appreciated being in that atmosphere. So what did I play? This is Game and World. What did I play? Well, I played, um, I brought some games, but I don't think I played any of the games I brought. What did I play? There were some uh, giveaway things where if you played a particular game, you could put your name into um, potentially win those games. And so when I first got there, everyone was engaged in the game, so I, I set myself to that task. Um, after I, Well, actually, first I left to get a flu shot, and then I came back, and I set myself to that task um, of winning those games. So I played Solitaire. I played, what was it called? Gauntlet of Fools, which was pretty fun. Um, I think it was yeah, I, I could see myself playing that again. It's a game wherein you first kind of bid boasts, you bid like negative things on your character slash weapon combination, and then you all kind of go through this sort of simulated, not simulated, but um, somewhat abstracted dungeon crawl where you like, you know, you just turn up cards and see if you can beat the monsters and whatnot. And a quick game, I think, uh, didn't take me long. Then I set up a Flashpoint Fire Rescue and uh, started to play that, but then a friend arrived and so we played two games of that and I also was able to sign up uh, to win that. I don't think a lot of people signed up to win that, so that's great. I hope I win it because my son likes firefighters and I think he would enjoy it, but I don't know that I would want to buy the game necessarily. Maybe if I could get it at a good price. Um, I have enough games that he would enjoy, but I think uh, it would be a nice little bonus. I got Flashpoint Fire Rescue in a drawing uh, so, so that I could bring it home to my son so we could play firefighters. Um, it's not a very, uh, it's not, I, I don't want to get into this I guess, but it's not the best treatment of the subject matter, but it does make some attempt to touch on the topic. I guess as Calendar would say, it's a topical game. Um, then what did I play? I think I played Take Noko. Uh, someone had this deluxe version, so it was like in this large wooden box and um, large, large pieces that you would stack up. It's a game where you can put down these hexagons and then grow bamboo and then have a panda eat the bamboo in order to get points. Uh, it was a fun game, fun, cute little game. Um, I, I definitely appreciated playing it in this like deluxe, like ultra colorful version. Um, I don't know if I would like the smaller version as much, uh, but it was it was nice. I um, then what did I play? I played oh no maybe before that I played Infiltration Android Infiltration, which was very stressful but also enjoyable. Um, I almost made it out with a lot of loot because you go into this corporate headquarters and try to get data and then escape. And I almost made it out with a lot of data, but then we all got caught, except for one guy who inadvertently got like thrown out of the building before he meant to, and um, he ended up winning that one. And then what did I play? I played Takenoku, and then I think after that, I was going to start a game of Origins, How We Became Human, but then the person I was going to play with, or one of the people I was going to play with, got sucked into another game, and so... Um, it's because I had gone away for a few minutes. And then I played Archipelago, which um, on its face looked like a game I wouldn't enjoy. 
but it, it had enough interesting things going for it that I did kind of enjoy. I did enjoy it, and I think I would play it again. I don't know if I'd want to play it again right away. Maybe give it give it a little bit of time. But it's a game that has cubes on in resource for resources, uh, which usually I, I'm not that into. But there's some exploration involved, and there's a there's a nice um, it's semi cooperative. And any game that's semi cooperative automatically scores some points with me because I feel like most games should be that way instead of that being an exception. Um, I like that uh, for a, for a cube pusher and worker placement game. The victory conditions are not known. I mean, there's like a chance it's going to be a number of different things, or or it could be you know, depending on what everyone has like a card that tells them one of the victory conditions that scores you points. And so I I, I felt that it was kind of refreshing because then you couldn't just kind of calculate what is the best move. Um, you could, I guess, kind of run through the probability in your head of each given thing and like what would be the, the optimal move, but I don't know if anyone has that kind of calculating potential. And so it's, it's a little more freeform and, and relaxing as a result of that, and there's, there's some flavor to it. Uh, it uh, yeah. So that's what I played. A lot of games, all of them were new to me. I, think, I don't think I played anything that I, I had played before. Um, so I learned a lot of games, and um, got to meet some some nice people, and enjoyed time with people I already knew, and it was all in all a great time. I'm going to go back again tomorrow, and maybe I'll talk about it then. We're maybe going to play Android. We'll see.